Jussie Smollett, who began his career as a Disney child actor. Maybe one day, one of you will even write a book about it in jail. And recently panicked over being written out of his role in the Fox series Empire, is the latest in a series of fake news events propagandized by the mainstream media and Congress attempting to corrode the unity of the American people. It's been two weeks and there are very few leads leading many to have questions about that night. Why did you hesitate to call the police? There's a level of pride there. We live in a society where, as a gay man, you are considered somehow to be weak. And I'm not weak. I am not weak. Kamala Harris recently tweeted her support for Smollett, tweeting, Jesse Smollett is one of the kindest, most gentle human beings I know. I'm praying for his quick recovery. This was an attempted modern day lynching. No one should have to fear for their life because of their sexuality or color of their skin. We must confront this hate. <laughs> Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted, the racist homophobic attack on Jesse Smollett is an affront to our humanity. No one should be attacked for who they are or whom they love. I pray that Jesse has a speedy recovery and that justice is served. May we all commit to ending this hate once and for all. While Joe Biden tweeted, what happened today to Jussie Smollett must never be tolerated in this country. We must stand up and demand that we no longer give this hate safe harbor. That homophobia and racism have no place on our streets or in our hearts. We are with you, Jussie. Right now, Chicago police are questioning Jussie Smollett and his second Empire actor in the investigation into that election attack. Multiple sources are telling Eyewitness News that Smollett and the two men are being questioned by police for staging the attack, allegedly because his character was being written out of the show. If I tell the truth, then that's it, because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Then it became a thing of like, oh, how can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? It's the truth. And then it became a thing of like, oh, it's not necessarily that you don't believe that this is the truth. You don't even want to see the truth. Smollett allegedly fabricated his story involving a rope around his neck, a Subway sandwich, and a bottle of bleach. After his assailants allegedly screamed, this is MAGA country, followed by a barrage of racist insults. Smollett's story changed multiple times as the National Review reported in previous versions of the story. Smollett A didn't mention the MAGA comment in his first interview with police 40 minutes later, and B in a TMZ story based on sources is directly connected to Jesse, basically his buddies, said the attackers yelled, this is MAGA country. No N-word, not at the outset of the attack, but as they were leaving. That TMZ story also claimed Smollett had suffered a fractured rib. Smollett now says he suffered merely a bruised rib. Additionally, a FOIA request obtained the police report based on an interview with Smollett at 2.42 a.m. on the night of the attack and it does not align with the story Smollett told Good Morning America. And now, ABC7 reports that Smollett's alleged monstrosity of lies attempting to game the leftist manufactured divide while vaguely incriminating the President of the United States in a hate crime has bitten him like a rabid bald eagle. We're told the north side home of those two persons of interest was raided by police and shoes, electronic devices, and other items were seized. Someone familiar with the investigation tells Eyewitness News Smollett was a no-show for an interview earlier today with police. In that GMA interview, he said he was convinced the two people seen on surveillance video released by police are the men who attacked him. Well, Eyewitness News has learned that two persons of interest are being questioned here, and one of those individuals is also an actor who has appeared on the TV show Empire. This says Smollett speaks publicly for the first time in an interview on Good Morning America. I don't have any doubt in my mind that that's them. Never did. I understand how difficult it will be to find them, but we gotta. I still want to believe with everything that has happened that there's something called justice. You should know by now that the left and all their hubris can change their story at will. After all, they are the victims protecting the dependent class, but eventually those lies come back to haunt you and criminal charges ensue. Maybe the left are starting to comprehend that American providence is a force you cannot grapple with, but I doubt it. John Bound reporting.